On today's episode of Dapper Daniel, the one acre home sites on today's video. This is gonna be Olivia Clark Partners in Building in Wyatt James outside of this community. Okay, there's not really gonna be a whole bunch of stuff. Tax rate in here is gonna be 2.08%. Here's the plat map for Olivia Clark so you can see which way those homes are facing. Also, the developer in here is Centrion American Development Group. Uh, so that makes sense. Howdy folks, welcome back to another video today. If you clicked on this video, maybe you're looking at like one, I feel like that was a voice crack. You're looking at one acre home sites maybe? That was bad. Uh, one acre home sites on today's video. This is gonna be Olivia Clark Partners in Building in Wyatt James. I'll talk about those builders here in a little bit, but on the outside of this community, okay, there's not really gonna be a whole bunch of stuff. So just kind of keep that in mind. You are a little bit further off Preston Road. This community is off a of county road right now, but this is the main road that takes you out to like Custer. And then you can take that down a little bit further into like uh, Salina Prosper area. Kind of takes you through like Liliana, those neighborhoods down there, and then you're into Prosper. But this is a little bit more off the beaten path right now. So hopefully they've actually built out this road in here because last time I traveled around here like I want to say um, two months ago they didn't have this road in uh, let's see is it done is it completed uh, let's try to go left nope I can't get in there wait maybe I can uh, I don't know if I can hold on I'm confused now okay that was the neighborhood there I don't know if I can actually get into it uh, let's see can I get in this way Let's try to go left here. Can I get in? Can I get in? Oh, I'm just gonna sneak on in. Be a little sneaky. It doesn't seem like I'm supposed to be driving around. I don't know, the roads are built. Seems fine. Still got a lot of mud on the roads from the uh, previous storms that came in through here. All right, success. We are in. The other thing that's gonna be cool about this neighborhood, it is gonna be gated. So if you're looking at the prices, you're like, whoa, 1.2 million. Yeah, that's because it's gated and they're one acre. So you could go a little bit higher, you could go a little bit further up here to Highland Crossing and buy an acre lot for $300,000 less right now, but that neighborhood isn't gated. It's gonna be the same amount of amenities. I mean, there's no amenities within these communities. There's no amenities within Highland Crossing. So it's whether or not you wanna spend an extra $300,000. Now I will say the builders in here are a little bit more bougie, a little bit more custom with their stuff. I still feel like a GFO home over there at Highland Crossing is still like good quality, still feels really nice, but uh, these builders in here are gonna be a little bit more on that kind of higher end of living and customization with stuff. I do like a lot of these lots in here. There is gonna be some privacy. You're gonna be on an acre. So if you are in the budget of like 1.2 to 1.4, looking in Salina. Now, if you are trying to stay more towards the quieter sense of living, you might get that for like three years, four years around here, but probably within a decade, a lot of other things are gonna be built out around here. Now, there are some other neighborhoods, uh, like you got the residences at Cottage Hill, I think that's what it was with Olivia Clark, a little bit further down. Those were also one acre home sites. I think Dree's Custom Homes were also building within in there. Uh, so the other neighborhoods that are around this area that were over here in Salina, we're kind of getting closer to the Western side of things, really. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more one acre plots of land, not really like huge master plan communities that those really haven't, the closest big master plan community over here is Parks at Wilson Creek and that's probably about eight minutes away from here. This is a neighborhood that would kind of be connected with the Collin County Outer Loop once they build it out a little bit further. So you'd probably be, you know, in five years from now, you'd probably be about five minutes away from the Collin County Outer Loop and you'd be able to take that out to 75 Highway. Uh, that might be 10 years from now where they connect it from here, the Collin County Outer Loop, because it kind of ends right here at Custer Road. Uh, nothing else goes out further, but they do have plans to connect it out to Melissa, but that's just gonna take some time. The county that this neighborhood is zoned for is Collin County. Tax rate in here is gonna be 2.08%. They weren't advertising the HOA, but I would guess probably this neighborhood is probably gonna stack up around a thousand dollars, actually more. I take that back. It is gated. You're gonna have a security guard at the gate. So I would probably put that upwards of like closer to 2000 per year within this neighborhood is my guess. Uh, but of course, kind of like these other communities I've been driving in, there's no houses built. So I know that this doesn't really help you guys to see what 
the homes look like, but hopefully this is helping some other people that are trying to find like brand new communities that are just now breaking ground to get within them. Uh, Cause I also do like those types of communities that, you know, when you're at the beginning of the community, you're more at the sunset stage, meaning like you could probably gain a little bit better equity within that house as the more new construction homes get built over the next years. Uh, so that is a way to find equity or build some quick equity uh, within the house, getting in, into a community right at the beginning rather than in one where it's not uh, right at the beginning if, if you're more at the uh or, excuse me i think i said sunset this is the sunrise this, i would call this more at the sunrise of the community not the sunset sunset is like it's ending i would say more towards neighborhoods that are at the beginning at the sunrise because you build an equity than rather at the sunset sorry i had that mixed up but that's uh, kind of what i think about things or where i see things uh, when it comes to trying to build in some equity uh, into the house because of this new construction because that is kind of the beauty of new construction is that you know you're gonna buy a house and then as time goes on, those new construction homes are gonna only get more and more expensive. Or at least that's been the trend over these past four years, right? So the builders in here, you've seen some of these signs out here. These signs you've seen is Partners in Building and Olivia Clark. Now for Olivia Clark, they have four floor plans on their website right now. Starting at $1.2 million. Now they don't have it every they don't have everything priced out, but that's why I'm saying like probably if in your you're in that 1.3 to 1.4 is probably what you're gonna to need to budget with in here right now. So the smallest floor plan they have is the Custer. That's a three bed, three and a half bath, 3,722 square feet. Then there's the Clay, four bed, four and a half bath, 3,876 square feet. Then there's the Davis plan, four bed, four and a half bath, 3,859 square feet. And then there's the Miles plan, four bed, four and a half bath, 4,690 square feet. So it seems like they're building from like 3,700 square feet up to about 4,800 square feet. Here's the plat map for Olivia Clark so you can see which way those homes are facing. So there's gonna be north, south, east, or there's gonna be all types of directional facing lots in here. So if you are looking for a north facing lot, that should work out in here. Should have some availability to kind of pick some things. The green is gonna be available those are going to be like kind of quick move in. Orange is going to be sold. Yellow is going to be an available home site you can build on. So you can see there's plenty of stuff available in there. And then the purple is where the model home is going to be. Partners in building the other one in here, they're a little bit more on the custom site. Like I would still say Olivia Clark is kind of in that custom, but still floats in that production builder side of things. Partners in building is usually building, you know, on acre lots, really big homes. They're usually not building like you know, 50 foot lots in a huge master plan community. Now they are over in Winsong Ranch, but those homes, once again, are just more custom than anything. So on their website, they had three spec homes that they were showcasing. One of them actually did have a price on there. It was a five bed, five and a half bath, 5,003 square feet priced at $1,490,000. So that's why I think those Olivia Clark homes that like the 3,800 square foot, those are probably gonna be in the 1.25s, 1.3s, and then you're gonna have some of these partner in buildings. If they're upwards of like 5,000 square feet, you're gonna be right below that $1.5 million mark. For their plat map, for partners in building, yellow is the available, blue shows the spec homes, and then that red square on there is where their model home is going to be. For their marketing, they didn't really show a lot of amenities in here. I mean, most of the amenities that they're kind of talking about are the amenities on the outside of the neighborhood, meaning like downtown Salina and those things, but you're a little bit further away right now. So buying over here, like I was saying before, it is gonna be on this quieter sense of living, but that is gonna change. So, you know, if you are looking for something that, you know, is, no one's gonna be building around you for a long time, I'd, I'd go up into Van Alstine, to be honest, uh, and some of those one acre lots, because Van Alstine's gonna take a lot longer uh, to build out than maybe some of these other slimes, spots, or maybe go further up into Gunter. Uh, Gunter, I guess I would take Gunter over Van Alstine, but then again, it's like, if you are having to commute down to Dallas, I'd take Van Alstine because you'd be off 75 highway and be able to travel down to those areas a lot quicker. They did keep some of the tree lines around here, which I do think is kind of nice. So you might have some privacy, uh, but then again, this is just what it comes down to new construction. You might have something where, you know, later on in the future, these people that own these big parts of land around here might sell it off. And then all of a sudden you've got a really big master plan community getting getting built on the back side of the home. So that is just something to kind of keep in mind. So, you know, not that you're taking a risk buying one of the lots on the outside of the neighborhood. You just don't know 
what's gonna come in the future, right? So, you know, when I'm working with someone, I definitely look at like, okay, who owns the land around here? Who owns the land right now on the backside? What does that look like? Because the last thing you want is like buying a one acre lot at $1.4 million and then on the backside of the home, a big apartment complex starts getting built. That'd be really frustrating and annoying. So I definitely look back to see what kind of, uh, I definitely look at you know who owns the land around here. Uh, this is a Wyatt James available lot here. Now Wyatt James, they build custom, but they don't have like, it. Wyatt James needs to get on their game when it comes to like marketing, website, just like finding anything about them on the internet. So I have walked through a Wyatt James before. I have not done any business with them. They seem pretty new to this area. I don't really know their whole backstory. So I don't know their reputation. I've walked in through some of their homes. They're pretty nice. Uh, they do feel pretty good, but you know, if you came to me and you're asking me, okay, out of these three builders, who would you recommend? I'd probably go with the Olivia Clark and the Partners Building over the Wyatt James because I just don't know the deal with Wyatt James yet. I just don't feel a hundred percent comfortable with that builder because, like I said, they don't have anything marketing. It's just so like I think the one thing I came across was maybe a LinkedIn page, but other than that, I mean, they're doing a pretty poor job marketing stuff out for people. Also, the developer in here is Centrion American Development Group. So that developer is known for building some of the other communities over in like Aubrey, Texas, Salina. They're also the same developer that's building Legacy Hills uh, over there off the Dallas Parkway or what's gonna turn into the Dallas Parkway and the Dallas North Tollway up there kind of on the west side of downtown Salina. And then the school district in here is gonna be Salina ISD. That's gonna be Odell Elementary. Moore Middle School, and then Salina High School. Now, those schools could start changing. I would imagine they, the elementary school is gonna change once the on-site elementary school comes in over at the parks at Wilson Creek by like 2025 is kind of what they're estimating on that. So that's what I would expect for those things. It seems like right now this community is just kind of doing some of the outside fence, a stone fencing that they have out here or stone wall. But other than that, nothing has like officially broken ground that much over here. And I would say that this is like the next brand new community doing one acre lots. Uh, that's like the, besides Windsor Springs over there in Little Elm, but I'd rather take Windsor Springs. Like even though that school rating is gonna be a little bit lower, I'd rather take a Toll Brother uh, starting at like the one millions over at Windsor Springs, kind of being close to Frisco rather than being over here now. And, five years that could change my opinion could be okay this is an okay place to kind of buy in uh, just being around areas but then again the prices are going to probably be different and more expensive I, I think I like wins if you're looking at one acre lots I'd also probably take Highland Crossing like if you were to ask me okay which one acre lots would you take um, Windsor Springs or Highland Crossing or this neighborhood I'd probably take Windsor Springs first then I'd take Highland Crossing and then I'd take this neighborhood Harper Estates, but I'd also maybe go up to Van Alstine before I pick this one. It kind of just depends on how close you want to be to Salina or maybe where you're working in those areas and what your commute looks like. To get down to Dallas from here, it's going to be about 56 minutes. DFW Airport, 48 minutes. Frisco is 25 minutes. Fort Worth is an hour and 11 minutes away. The grocery store is 10 minutes away. And then the nearest hospital is gonna be that Methodist hospital once they get it built out over there in Salina, that's 13 minutes away. But for right now, it's probably about like 20 minutes away to the nearest hospital over in Frisco for Texas Health. So not a ton of stuff on the outside of this community right now. The grocery store is relatively close. That's 10 minutes away, but like Starbucks, banks, all those types of things are gonna be a, a drive to kind of get out to that area but that's kind of the thing that happens right with these one acre lots it's kind of the compromise that you got to make it's like yes you get the one acre lot you get the land you can build 5,000 square feet but you're going to be compromising on how far away you are from things and the amenities that come within here but I do find that people would rather have I do find that my one acre lot people that are searching for that don't really care about amenities and care more about the land and just being spaced out from your neighbor so like I said, that's just kind of the compromise you gotta make with things. But that is gonna do it for Harper Estates and kind of the details right now with that. If you guys have any other questions about one acre lots, trying to find a bigger piece of land and doing new construction, please send me a text or give me a call. Would love to work with you and your family on your home search. Other than that, peace out y'all and take it easy as always.
Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.